I'll get you some water. Thank you for everything you've done for me. All in all, it wasn't that bad. Being born, I mean. Because I could hear music. And I heard Christine. She didn't mean to hurt you. I know that. She just asked a bit too much of me, that's all. It's not her fault. I thought she loved me. She does. She did. But only for a moment. Still, a moment such as that is worth living for, wouldn't you say? I do regret one thing, though. What's that? Not having killed the Comte de Chagnier. But why? Because he doesn't love music, and how can he possibly love her? He loves her. <laughs> if you say so. She was just unprepared for you. She was unprepared for ugliness. And for that brief, sweet moment, so was I. But I'm glad she saw fitting end to my illusions. Perhaps you'd like to see my face. I've seen your face. When? When you were a child. One day you saw a reflection in the water. At first you thought it was a sea monster. And then you realized it was you yourself. It was not an easy day. Did you know my mother well? Yes. Did you love her? Yes, I loved her. And she let you see my face? She thought your face was absolutely and flawlessly beautiful. What did you think of it? Well, I... I thought it could be better. I'm your father. I wondered when you'd say. See, my eyes are the only parts of my face I can look at in a mirror without wishing to break the glass. But they're not her eyes, they're yours. I'm sorry for what I put you through. Well, actually, there never was a day I'd have given any of it up for anything. Oh, I like that story. Tell me another fairy tale. It's true. Why? Because you have your mother's soul. She left. Who? Christine. Yes, I think so. I would have loved to have heard her voice again. Just once. Remarkable thing, you know. Twice in my life I have been touched by an angel. Surely not many men are as fortunate as that.
But she will sing again. How could she not? And when she does, others beside me will know what beautier sounds God can make when he chooses. What are they singing tonight? I'm not sure. Yeah. Don Giovanni, I think. Yes. There's a piece of work. Hmm. Perhaps I'll listen for a bit. You should go. Oh, I don't mind staying. Privacy is best for this. Come back in a day. I'd thought about being buried in my lagoon. And I thought, oh, no, float up and scare some poor child downstream. I will bury you. And make it deep, with no markings. There will be an inevitable curiosity. No one will find you. It's my face I'm concerned about. You will not end up on display. Tell her I'm sorry that I frightened her. 